What is even that? <laughs> He's got the wheels and the legs. Oh man. What's up with his car? Something going on over there. They put me in a room, a metal room, a room with glass, glass windows. I don't like ass. Well, it's open today. Some white cup. Dude, look, there's like these Laurier stands over here. And I couple of stationary buses yeah it's been a while since since the last time i've been here okay anyone remember this place video surveillance closed to the public yeah we used to come here more often before they closed the uh, lane one and lane three this is lane five right now yeah that's what it, that's what it looks like now and uh i think there used to be a bit more traffic here right now it's just us by us, I mean me. Yep. <laughs> it's quite peaceful actually, isn't it? I don't know what this place used to look like. Look at that road closure. No through road. Biosecurity area and no filming. Guess what? I'm filming anyway. No camera. Yeah, I don't have a camera. I got a phone. Let's take the gate key from guard house. It's one of those military training areas in here. Okay, about 6 p.m. right now. I managed to make it home uh, earlier. I, I didn't manage to record it, but I actually tried to explore the northern side of Pongo a bit. And of course, I got lost. <laughs> well, not, not actually lost, but like disoriented because... Okay, it, it's crazy, you know, because I was expecting to see like uh, a big construction site, like, kind of like the Tonga thing that we saw last time. But instead, I just saw this like what I thought was a, a, a developed estate like I thought I was driving past some really some uh how to say like old like some buildings that were already there for some time and not like fresh new buildings and then it, it wasn't until after I came back home that I realized that oh my god that that was the construction site they, they finished building the things and all the buildings were up that's why that's why I couldn't see any construction site and I got confused I was like what is this is, is, is this the construction site where am I at now yeah, so anyway, I'm, I'm still alive. I made it back out. Uh, luckily, I didn't have to use a map. In fact, actually, I used the compass. <laughs> I just pulled out the compass one time and realized, oh, I'm facing west. Correct. And then I just make a left turn and get out. And yeah, I got out of there. <laughs> yeah, so that was that. And the, the, the crazy part is this. When I try to check Google Maps after that, you see, Google Maps is not even fucking updated. Like, it still has the old like, farmland area on the map, right? So... <laughs> Even if I pulled out my mat, I would have gotten even more lost in there. So I just whipped out the compass. Like, okay, westbound, let's, <laughs> let's get out of here. Alright bros, we're up here again on uh, this Tuesday afternoon. This is also going to be the last time for this week that, that I'll be driving, so I intend to take a little bit of a longer trip today, if you know what I mean. Or maybe you don't know what I mean, because I don't know what I mean. Anyway, here's the view from here. Okay, this is a new Pongo area. There's a ship moving behind me, like literally right there. And uh, yeah, this place is definitely still being built or something. Look at that, it's OBS. The new ass OBS like that. All right, this is if my turtle was in Iraq. You understand where I just sit? Okay, our next task is to get out of this place without using a map because there is no map <laughs> this place is not even updated yet 
Drive with Palestine. Okay, it's Friday night, 10 p.m. already, and I completely forgot I was supposed to make an episode today. It, it just completely slipped my mind. So I'm gonna go edit this now and then probably go upload it in like, I don't know, a couple of minutes. Alright, see you next week. Bye bye.